Hi everybody, welcome to Mechanical Keyboards Live. I'm your host, Keith Pete. What's going on? Tons of people in the room today. What's going on? We're already at 37 viewers. That's incredible. What's going on? TBV 4050s in the house. What's going on, my friend? Uh, good to see you again. Uh, Smee Beer, Mange H, Mange HD. Uh, uh, I already said Smee Beer. Um, I need more low is in the house. GGC ADC is in the house. Yui, Dr. Doomapple. I saw Malky Tomlinson is here. What's going on, everybody? Hi, welcome to the show. Oh, of course, I've forgotten to turn off the volume on this computer, which I always seem to do. There we go. Um, first, uh, I, Anthony TV, Jesper Lundquist in the house. Zombie, what's going on? Um, you can see the, the numbers uh, of people uh, sagging off just below me here. Uh, but uh, don't forget, Yan is in the house. Uh, don't forget uh, to uh, press subscribe if you haven't already. Uh, but definitely press like. Uh, this says it's going to be a keyboard show where I'm going to be making a, a GH60 a keyboard, which of course I am. Uh, but before we get to that, there's a couple of housekeeping things I need to do. A couple bits and pieces. What's going on, everybody? Uh, just going to keep doing some more uh, shout outs. Uh, Yan is in the house. Anthony, I, Anthony TV. Yan, by the way, has an Arch Linux. Are you an Arch Linux user? Uh, has an Arch Linux uh, logo in his thing. That's very cool. Max is here. Stupley is here. Zooey Gluey 3485T89 Fgid Riz is also in the house. What's going on? Uh, Luke the Elf Dot. Mechanisk. What's going on? Finally, you are building this keyboard. Though those plates are not made at the moment, so they are kind of rare. That is exactly the truth. This is a gift that I got from Mechanisk for Christmas last year. Uh, it's about time I got to this, so you know what I'm saying. Um, I'm going to be doing that. This is a slight uh, change of plan. Uh, I was going to do a carbon fiber one just before the show started, but I uh, changed my mind. I'm going to do this gift from Mechanisk.co. Thank you very much for that. Lyxon's in the house. James O'Farrell, TBV4050 starts out with a super chat for two bucks. He says, thanks for the Pegasus hoof, Pete and Steph. Steph gives you a thumbs up. You can't see her right now, but she also gives you a thumbs up. Dax Jane is in the house. EDC Bot is here. What's going on? Welcome to the show, everybody. It looks like we got 42 viewers and 21 likes. Don't forget, the more likes this gets, uh, the more other people get to join the show. This show is going to go on for a while. We're going to be building uh, this awesome keyboard right here. Um, Mrs. Kit Uset. First time watching this live. Welcome to the stream. Uh, hopefully it'll be a good show. I'll do my best to do everything that's cool. Uh, can I get the stupid poker from anywhere except MK and Mass Drop that they never have in stock? What about, uh, yeah, mechanicalkeyboards.com would be a, a good place, or Amazon.com is always a good place, too, uh, for pokers. Or, forget that, go to oneupkeyboards.com. Oneupkeyboards.com, I'm the owner. For those of you who don't know, I'm sure you all do. But um, we've got some keyboards prefabbed on there if you're not into uh, building your own, or you can build your own if you're into that sort of thing, uh, which is awesome. So, Awesome. Stanislaus in the house. What's going on? EDC bot. He's not actually a bot. Uh, what else is going on? Welcome, everybody. Okay. The very, very first thing that we're going to do today, even before, we're just going to get rid of that thing. The very first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to press a button here. And the button is weird because I need to press it because camera two isn't working the way I wanted to. Uh, just yet, so I'm just gonna press a button. You guys are gonna see, you guys are gonna see some behind the scenes stuff here. Um, there we go. Oh, and now it's not complaining. It's not complaining. It says that it's doing fine. Hold on. What is, what does this say? No, it still says it's bad. So give me just one sec here. I'm just gonna. St I don't know why I'm standing up to do it. I can do it while I'm sat down. Uh, I'm just gonna turn this on gonna go over to uh, preferences uh, I'm gonna lower the bitrate down to 1024 no that was too low video bitrate 
Ten twenty four. That should be sufficient. Hopefully now. What does it say? It did say insufficient network bandwidth. My God. You really just can't handle this at all. So if you guys go check out camera two, this will be the view that you get. But unfortunately, it can't handle this at all. So. You know what I'm saying? Maybe you should check out camera three instead. Because that that's just not that's just not good. Switching back to the overhead camera. I'm going to put this away. Some really bad broadband issues on that thing. That sucks. But uh, I don't know why it's struggling so much with that. Who knows? Who knows? That's camera two. That's camera two over there. And then camera three is over here. We got a lot of cameras going on in the house today. B. Ewell is in the house. Dr. Doom Apple have already yelled out. Rooster Elite. What's going on, Rooster Elite? We're already at 51 viewers. That's pretty awesome. 56 to 26 likes. Let's, let's go through the spiel. Steph is doing some packaging over in the corner there. Let's go through the spiel. Don't forget to press like. Don't forget to put on full 1080p. That's number two. Uh, number three, don't forget I'm pumping one up keyboards. Uh, number four, this is number four. Uh, number four, super chat is enabled. Thank you already to TBV, TBV 4050 for chucking that down. Uh, definitely super chat is enabled for this show. And if you'd like to support the channel, you can do so in the about section below. What? Today, on today's show, of course, we are going to be using the, the solder cam. Let's just show off solder cam. Solder cam. It's going to be cool. Uh, we got overhead, but we don't currently... I don't know if you guys can see this, but we don't actually have a camera. We don't actually have a camera here. Usually, there's a big camera mounted here at the front, but that's not currently mounted there because that camera is camera two, which is barely working. Um... And then, of course, there's this camera. And then, of course, there's this camera as well. You can see my giant TV in the background. And out the window here in New York. Some some of the stuff that I'm going to be testing in the next couple days is all over here. Hey, what's going on? Rooster Elite. I like how Pete doesn't have his own music on. That way I can have my own music on. What's up? Good question there coming from Zombie. How do you like the 67 gram zeals? That's what today's build is going to be. So why don't I just, because i got to do all the snippage. Why don't I just get started on the snipping? Let's get, let's get Snip Factory going here. Yeah, so we've got uh, Zelios on 1UP keyboards at the moment. So go check those out on 1UP keyboards. And what I thought I would do while I'm doing the snippage is just chat to you guys, see what's up. I feel like I haven't been doing much of an AMA in my other shows, uh, only because testing on them on live or not. I'm not sure what you're saying. Yeah, I'm gonna be building. I'm gonna be building with the 67 gram Zelios here, so you are definitely gonna see and hear those happen today. Uh, of course, all the information is available for this video in the description or about section below. Uh, I noticed that YouTube changed its look in the last couple of days, so it might look a little bit different, but it's all still down there. It's all the good stuff. Is $50 for 70 zeals a good price? Yeah, it's kind of a suspicious price, but yeah, it's a good price. These uh, switches uh, go for retail for $1 each, uh, which is expensive, but they are definitely worth it. The 67 grams are the bomb. Um, I think I also have 62 and 65 grams as well, but I particularly like the 67s. In fact, I had a keyboard with 67 grams on it, and I lent it to a friend at work, and he hasn't given it back, so I figured I'd make another keyboard with some 67s. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 
Uh, TBV4050 says, got a hold of some MX Red Silence on a Philco board. They're certainly a strange experience. A good one, though. Nice. What Philco board did you get? Currently 56 viewers watching. Thank you very much to everybody who's joined in. Have you tried plum electrostatic switches? I have not, Bitmapper. I have not at all. Sounds pretty cool, though. Steph, uh, I'm assuming this is a 65 bag. Is that right? Yeah. Okay. So I actually want, I want to not do five of these. Oh, no, wait, four of them, right? Magis Touch 2 for the Pegasus Hoof. Oh, wow, that's cool. I didn't realize there was a Magis Touch 2 with, with uh, MX Silence on it. That's cool, though. Plum is basically a cheap... Topre clone. No, I definitely haven't tried that. Well, I was at work earlier today. That's why we got a later start than usual. But I want to say what's up to everybody who follows me on Twitter. A lot of people had been liking and retweeting. Actually, I say a lot of people. It was like three people liked and retweeted my tweet. Thank you very much for that. Uh, I do use Twitter to help get the word out. So if you haven't already followed me on Twitter... I'm at Ski with Pete. We've got 61 viewers currently. Is that right? Oh no, it says 57 over there. 58, who knows, with 32 likes. Again, uh, the whole thing with the YouTube algorithm is that you get more, more people coming to the show when more people like it. So that's... But you know what? I think the algorithm is going to mark me down because I have a camera that's streaming really badly with my, my camera too. The audio is probably all messed up and it's, it's basically it's not going to be good. That's what I'm saying. I've never seen anything of those dark blue cherries. These are not dark blue cherries. These are purple zelios. Let's do uh, let's do the zoom in. Let's do the zoom in. All the way here. Whoa. So uh, what I'm doing right now, you see those those two extra pegs there. That one. Like that, I'm just gonna snip that off. Those are the PCB mounts. If I was making a PCB only mount board, I would use those, but I'm not. So, don't need them. Let's do another one. And the reason I put my thumb on top of this is just to stop the little plastic piece from going flying, but there it is there. You just wanna make sure you've got eye protection, especially as you do this. My camera too went crazy then. Are they tactile? They are indeed tactile, yeah.
Everyone makes switches now. Back in my day, there were three options. Cherry, Model M, or Obscenities. Uh, yeah, and basically, the, it's changed a little bit. There are a couple of companies that make uh, Cherry MX clones. One of them is called Gateron. Um, these are, in fact, a Gateron switch. Uh, but they use different types of plastics to the Cherry MX. So the community, a lot of people prefer, myself included, uh, Gaterons as they're smoother. Then Gateron didn't have a clone for Cherry MX Clear, which is that large tactile bump. So uh, one of the community members, uh, his name is uh, Zeal. Uh, Zeal went out and redesigned the stem uh, for Gateron and release them under an exclusive offer and those are called Zelios. Because they're made in limited numbers and because they pay a licensing fee uh, to Zeal for these, for designing them, uh, and they're available in four different weights, uh, that's why they're more expensive and that's why they're called Zelios as opposed to Gateron even though they are made by Gateron. Hey Pete, I have a problem with the new RGB MX. Since I only support SMD LED, how do you fix it for normal LEDs? Uh, they fit normal LEDs just fine. Uh, the SMD just means it's got a bigger cutout in the bottom. Uh, Steph, do you have a, the? Do you have an MX? Uh, yeah, actually, just pass me one of those pandas. This is another. Uh, this is another exotic switch that you might have come across. Here, look, here's a here's a panda. And look, this is also for the What's that? Oh, wait, I know what you're saying though. Because look, these are the SMD ones on the bottom and look, they just have a bigger hole so that you can fit a square SMD in there as opposed to these ones which have the four pins see the f four holes there But what you're actually saying is that you have some that have the closed over tops uh, If you have the ones with the closed over tops You're gonna need to get new tops. It's the only solution you're gonna find Rooster Elite says if I pull off keycaps Frequently, will my keycaps eventually get loose? Uh, they may get a little loose, uh, but if they do, use what's called the tape hack, where you take a little piece of scotch tape, um, take a little piece of scotch tape, put it over the Cherry MX top, like that, just a tiny little piece. You put it over the top, and then put the keycap over the top of that, and that'll secure it down, no problema. Just a reminder, because I know the chat is really taking off and more and more people are throwing stuff in. If I miss your question or whatever, you can, of course, use uh, Super Chat. Super Chat, I promise to read out all of my Super Chats. It's definitely a guaranteed way to get my attention. I'm just making my way through these switches. I'm definitely over halfway now. I've only got a couple more to go here. Yeah, you can use Gateron tops. That's absolutely true. Um, if you like the video or want to support Pete, there you go. That Thank you, Lyxin, for pointing that out. What's easy A EDA? Do you mean easy A AVR? What's easy ADA? EDA. I need more low. Are you leaving f the four corners? Uh, that's a good question, actually. Um, yeah, I, I had planned to. Um, that's not those four. That's the next four. I only need 61 switches for this build. So that's why I'm, I'm doing this, but yeah, I tend to do that. Leave those four for the corners. Just so they're extra jammed in super tight, but 
Um, but this is actually, you see, I'm building myself my own thing with, with an old raggedy board. So I need to test out the, need to test out the board and then I got to do all the stabs and everything. It's going to be a while, this one. Camera two is buzzing. That's not good. For you. No, that's what somebody just wrote. I'm sorry about camera two. Rooster Lee said, man, if only I had an income, I would donate. Well, I'll be here. I'll be here when you get one. Don't worry. Oh, Easy EDA is a PCB maker. That's cool. Can you switch between the different cameras as a viewer? Yes, as a viewer, you'll see there's like, it looks like a little suitcase with the arrow keys on it or with arrows on it. And that should let you switch, switch between them. But again, it's working so poorly, uh, old camera two. Um, JB, 1830s in the house. Yep, giving the Zelios the old clipperoo. Steph is in the background sorting out some orders. Delivery to Ireland, is it expensive? You know what you can do on our website, oneupkeyboards.com? Uh, it calculates based on weight. So what you can do is go um, go check it out. Uh, put it, the stuff you want in your cart. Uh, then press... Uh, what is it? Shipping options. Basically, you put in your address and it'll estimate for you. You don't have to make the purchase, but you can estimate uh, how much it'll be to have it shipped to you. Uh, usually, it's pretty good. We used to live in the UK, so we don't have really high shipping prices. We try to be very reasonable with that. So, there's that. Uh, JB1830 is in the house. Uh, and JB1830 will, in the very near future, be building something on our channel. Uh, JB, remind us what, what that was. What were you going to do again? I have it written down on the calendar, but I wasn't sure exactly what it was. Theodora89, what's going on? Wow, we're up to 81 viewers. Is that right? 80, 79 viewers with 45 likes. If you haven't already, now is a great time to press that like button. Maybe you've been here a couple minutes and you're thinking, yeah, I can press the like button. Let's see if we can't get it up over the, over the 50 mark. See if we can't push up into the 55 or even 60 mark. If you haven't already pressed like, please do press it now. Dane Carter, happy belated birthday, QWERTY. Dane Carter with a $2 super chat. Thanks very much, Dane. I really do appreciate that. Something with springs and LEDs, says JB 1830. Thanks again to Dane Carter. That's really cool of you to support the channel. Of course, I'm trying to do all sorts of neat stuff, like have these extra cameras uh, be involved. It's not working perfectly, but I'm working on it. I'm doing what I can. Fifty-two likes now. Go ahead, smash that like button. Love it when you smash the thumbs up. How do you suggest trying to fix stabilizers wire that have come out of the bracket on the board? I'm trying it with a bend pick, a bend pick, and I and it's tough. It is tough. I 
I've I've been down that road. I talked to JB eighteen thirty. He's been down that road a bunch too. Uh, you know what? Uh, you know what I use sometimes is a flathead screwdriver, just to just to push on in there. Okay. So uh, next up, I'm just going to test the board out. You can see this is an old, this is an old GH60. We don't sell ones like this anymore. Uh, there's a couple reasons, and there's a couple of reasons why. Uh, this is an old one, and here's two ways that you can tell that it's an old one. Whoa. Uh, the first way is that it's got this big button on it. The new ones don't have the big button. They got a much smaller button. The other way is that this is a pad mounted um, USB. It's pad mounted. There's no, it's not through the hole. There's no, there's nothing that's come through on this side. So this is a much weaker connection um, than the ones that we sell on our website. But again, this is an old version. It's one that I've had lying around ever since Mechanisk.co or my friend Lee Andren uh, sent me this plate. So that's why I'm using this one. But of course, you'll be getting a brand new one if and when you buy one from us. Equally, what I thought I would do is just test this out and make sure I haven't got a dud. I'm just gonna move this. Steph is really going at those, it's going at the zeals. Hey guys, if you haven't already, now is a great time to press that subscribe button. Uh, and I'm just gonna check here. Yeah, that just pressed V a bunch of times. And then uh, this one here should press enter. And you guys will see it. Wait a sec. Uh, which one of these would be enter? One of these? There you go. Now you guys should see it in the chat. Of course, there's a bit of a delay. But it should still work just fine. You guys will see that in just a second. All right. Now what I'm going to do... Put this here. I'm just gonna line that up exactly the way I would want it. And the next thing I need to do is, oh, wait a sec, I forgot a step. I've gotta get my stabs organized. So in an upcoming stream, uh, and obviously not today, I'm going to be building the most silent keyboard that can be built on Earth ever humanly possible. Uh, and for that, I will be leaving these little bits on the stabilizers. Uh, but for today, I am, in fact, taking them off. So let's, let's super zoom in here. This should be even clearer than ever before. It is. Look at it. Oh. Okay, so look. This is how they come. This is what they look like. Just like this. And what I'm taking off are the two little hooks. Little hook pieces. So you can see, like this piece right here. I'm just going to clip that off. And then I'm going to flatten the bottom out. Just like that. Look, and then, and then when I'm done, it looks like... It looks like this. Do you see the difference? Oh, there's a little bit of ridge there I could probably clean off. There, like that. Like that. See what I'm saying? So I'm going to keep doing that to some more of them. Here, I'm just going to take this one. You see the two little hooks that stick down? I'm just going to clip it off. Clip the other one off. Now, the reason that you clip these off is that those little springs at the bottom, they act they act like springs, exactly that. Uh, and they cushion the blow as the switch reaches the bottom of the, uh, the bottom of the well, the bottom of the stroke. And uh, oh, I'll cut that one a little bit. Uh, the reason we want to remove that The reason we want to remove that, uh, look, you can see I hit that one a little bit hard there. Uh, the reason we want to remove that is so that it doesn't cushion the bottom. We have that nice, hard thock noise uh, when it reaches the bottom of its, of its go. Now, these, having those little suspension, 
having those little suspension pieces on there, what that'll do for us is it'll make the landing quieter. Uh, and that's why I want to make the quietest keyboard ever. Um, that's why I'm going to leave them on. But in this case, I'm definitely not going to leave them on. I'm taking them off. Look at how clear it is. It's so clear. Love it. Thank you again to my two super chatters. You guys are awesome. So what I'm going to do, what, I'm, what my plan is here is uh, I'm going to buy, because I don't have the space really to put in my teleprompter yet, I think I'm going to buy another camera. That's my plan. Steph and I were talking about it earlier. I think she thought I was just talking about cameras, but I'm talking about buying one. Steph? Yeah, I'm, I'm just... I knew she would. Sometimes I wonder if we even need to talk about it because Steph can read my mind. But for those of you who have bought uh, stuff from one of keyboards before, uh, don't forget if anything goes wrong, we can't actually read minds. Just like to say that <laughs> out loud. I'm going to do a new segment, not this week, uh, but probably next week. I've started a new uh, subreddit, um, r forward slash ski with Pete. And I'm going to put a keyboard, a keyboard section in there so you guys can upload your keyboards uh, for an on-screen show and tell. We can talk them, talk them through. That'll be fun. Uh, I've already built r forward slash ski with Pete, so if you want to go uh, join that. You can do it now, but that'll be a segment that comes up in the next couple of weeks. I see somebody, uh, Dr. Doom Apple, saying that he can't uh, can't post links. Uh, Dr. Doom Apple, you can post links. Let me uh, let me hook you up. Not psychic, however, very helpful over email. See, that's what I'm saying. Yours, Boris is in the house. Yours, lovely to see you, my friend. Plate mounts are way less common these days. Are you saying? I think you're saying PCB mount are way less common. Guys, I'm going to leave you just for one quick second. I'm just going to... Uh, I'm just going to put on some less constricting trousers. Uh, you guys hold on one second. I'm gonna be uh, gonna be right back. You just hold right there. If anybody new comes in, you tell them hold on one sec. I'll be right back.
Was anybody listening to camera two just then? If you were, you'd probably think it was pretty funny. If you weren't, oh. Uh, okay, I need to move this thing out of the way. I need to grab this puppy. Grab this lube. For those of you who haven't seen me lube it before, I use this Crytox 205. You can find that in the about section below. All I do, I just put a little bead in the corners here, just like, like this. It's a little bead. Oh, I can zoom in. I'll show you in a sec. The little wire is gonna go in here like this, so I'm just gonna put a little bead right here. Like that. Oh, sorry, it was a little bit off camera. That's all, just a little bead right there like that. And then you see that's gonna match up to, oh, and I just took a little bead off, there it is. Um, see, that's gonna match up to the other one that I've got there. So two little beads of lube, just like that. Just gonna leave it just there for one second and do a couple more. Do you wanna hear the crack over here on two? Sure. Here. Do I have to do something or just listen? Come over here. Well just play it. What? Just play it, no? Uh, I was gonna say headphones. Go oh. on. Pictures going on right here. Don't forget guys, uh this Yeah, okay. Okay. I understand. I will do my best to figure that out in the future. And it's all jumpy. It keeps going all gray, pixelated, comes back. Okay, well, the, the honest answer is that I need to run a cable from over, over there to over here. I don't really want to do that, though. How wide across is this room? Probably need a 50 footer or something. Not 50 feet. No, but I probably need a 50 footer to reach out from the thing, down along the edge, up over I'm the. Go around the door. Well, I'm gonna go under the carpet. Ah. <sighs> Gabe's in the house. What's up, Gabe? Gabe Lewis. Great to see you, buddy. Uh, 82 concurrent viewers. If you have, oh no, 70 it says. Depends where you look. We're three short of 60 likes. If you haven't already, now would be a great time. Does one up sell acrylic cases? No, it does not. We do not sell acrylic. We have uh, aluminum, stainless steel, uh, and carbon fiber, or real carbon fiber. Uh, but we do not have acrylic. Not bases. What's that? Not bases. Oh, bases, we only have aluminum. And, uh, and we have the other one too. We have... Uh, Zip ties is ones. 3D printed. Colorful. Alrighty. Well, guys, I could use some more subscriptions. So if you could, if you haven't already, go ahead and press that subscribe button. Feels like Friday as opposed to Saturday. I was at work today. And I just haven't quite got that Saturday feeling yet. OK. 
here, I'm gonna zoom in for the next one here so you guys can see what's going on. All right, so look, this is the way this goes. You see there's two sides of this. There's the what I call the hotel side, which is that side. And then there's the single door side. We go to the hotel side towards the front. So we're gonna pick this guy up right here like this. We're gonna put the hotel side towards the lubed track side there like that. And now what we're gonna do is take the wire and go through the front door into the bottom level of the hotel. Why? March for science in New York City rallies against Trump on Earth Day. All of Times Square was blocked off. Ah, making more sense now. Mm. Okay, gonna do it again. Get another one. Hotel towards the front. Hotel towards the front. Smash this up in here. Zoom out just a little bit so you guys can see. B M M C Wirt. Thank you for the very kind words. I'd love to really, my goal is to hit 100,000. At 100,000, they will let me into the YouTube space with all of my keyboarding friends, and we're going to do the first ever worldwide live stream from the YouTube space keyboard meetup. And I know some other people have tried live streaming meetups. Uh, it's, it's nothing compared to what this show combined with the power of the YouTube could possibly do. Uh, are these steps easy to put together wrong, or is it the case that they really only go together one way? Uh, both is the right answer. Uh, they really only go together the right way uh, one way. Uh, you can put them together incorrectly and not really notice until it's way too late. But if you're uh, diligent like I am and you test it each time, then you can do it uh, only the right way. Uh, which is important because if they're in incorrectly... Um, or if they're not clicked down properly, or you know, there's a there's a bunch of things that could possibly go wrong here. But no, I mean it's it's not like hard to get them right. It just um, it doesn't matter which way you put them in. It always uh, feels difficult to do. It doesn't matter if you're doing it the right way or the wrong way. It feels difficult, uh, which is difficult. Um, but all that to say, as long as you get the hotel towards the front, uh, you'll be fine. Anchor Bait is in the house. What's going on? Sob Gobbler's here too. What's going on? Welcome to the stream, guys. Uh, don't forget to press that like button. Everybody knows I could use the likes. And of course, don't forget to go check out oneupkeyboards.com. Uh, we got some new stuff in. We got some Inver Panda switches uh, in stock uh, just the other day, which is great. Uh, if you're on the mailing list, don't forget to check your spam box and make sure that uh, one up keyboards is whitelisted uh, because the new email system is coming together just a dandy. Uh, of course, yeah, there's going to be a little bit of stuff that needs to be done so that you don't get it stuck in your spam box. Uh, but that's going to be cool. It's going to be a whole new release system. Uh, what else can I tell you? Uh, oh, yeah, I'm not supposed to mention it yet because we're only releasing it on Friday, but the springs, custom springs are now in stock at 1UP Keyboards, and the price is pretty damn competitive, too. Uh, custom springs are there. What else have we put on the, the website? 
Oh, new switch pullers too. Are no, key keycap pullers. Don't people. What's that? Don't confuse people. Keycap pullers are new on the website. Uh, we got some metal keycap pullers that are. Famous dealer. What's that? We got we got one, but we got twenty of them. Uh, they're definitely kick ass. They are high quality. Uh, go take a look at them. You're gonna love them. Famous all right, that's all me stabs. All right, now I have. Uh, I have to clean my glasses, uh, which takes a second, and I have lube on my fingers, so I gotta go wash my hands, then clean my glasses. Just wait, just hang around for two minutes. If you haven't already, there's 71 liking with 60, uh, 71 watching with 64 likes. Um, this is a keyboard stream. The more likes we get, the more people come and view it. We are in 1080p. I will be right back. I'm just gonna wash my hands. Who are you typing to? Customers. I don't have to have a cleaning cloth out here, do I? I'm back, I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. Okay, moving on to the next bit here. I gotta get this PCB, which I've already tested. It's already, we already know it's ready to go. I'm just gonna take this PCB and I'm gonna start putting in the stabilizers. Now, as I often say, the thing with the stabilizers that's confusing is that the little, the little pieces go in the big holes and the big pieces go in the little holes. What I mean by that is these stabilizers, you'll see here, have, you'll see this. They have the little hooks up front and they've got the big pegs at the back. And exactly as I said, exactly as I said, look, the big hole is where the little peg goes and the little hole is where the big peg goes. Oh, sorry, I thought I was showing that to you. Just just grab it and just click it on right on through so it's in nice and tight. And here we go on this side. Make sure to see that that foot is all the way through just like that. Then clip it down just like that. There you go. Sixty-four people watching, but they're gonna want to come back in a hurry because we're about to get the solder cam going.
gonna be let's put those first four in place the way we're gonna do that just slot this over the top just like that now what I'm gonna do actually what I really should do is push these into the plate first Like that. Like that. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, this goes as far left as it can. And this one goes as far right as it can. Oh, whoops, I put that one in upside down. Did I? I did. No, that's the right way around. That is, just goes in there. That's all. And that goes in there. Can you easily remove switches from the plate? Yes, you can. What you need is one of these uh, switch pullers, uh, which you can get from one of keyboards. I think the ones that we have on the side are green, are they, Steph? Yeah. Uh, the ones we have on the side are green, but all you need to do then is just uh, grab them and they really easily pop right out. Uh, absolutely nothing to it, if you have the right tools. Um, if you don't, you'll have to go in there with like a screwdriver and really try to get, get that organized. It's not the easiest thing in the world, I know, but that is why having the right tools is so important. This one really doesn't want to go down, but I'm trying. That's as close as it's going to get, anyways. And that's all the way down. And that's all the way down. And that's all the way down. And those two pins are through, two pins are through, two pins are through. All right, guys. Well, it's time for the first time tonight to fire up the solder cam. Let me just get the soldering iron nice and hot. And we will get that going. If you haven't already, now is a great time to press that like button. We'll try to get a couple more people in on the show. Uh, let me. I'm gonna do uh, Twitter. Second, just one moment, please. I'll only be one second. Solder cam hype. 
All right. We're fully hot. Switch over to solder cam. Don't forget, guys, if you're having any problems, go check out this camera over here, which is the uh, top left view. That top left view will be a lot less jerky, a lot less moving around. Don't forget for you guys at home, uh, it's best if you use eye protection. Uh, I, of course, am wearing glasses, so my eyes are already protected, but this is solder cam. Let's do the first join here and make sure it's nice and clean. Am I on solder cam staff? Yeah. I can't see it at the moment. Yeah, you are. Usually my subscriptions go up when this is happening, and I don't see my subscriptions jumping, so I thought maybe I wasn't doing it, but... Just gonna give a quick wipe, keep your eyes in the top left. Whoops, whoops. That didn't work very well. That looks like a little. That's better. It's better ish. All right, guys, don't forget to keep your eyes in the top left corner. I'm just going to wipe that off and get this tip back to nice and covered. All right, that was the first use of solder cam. There you go. All right, all right, all right. I'm really excited to get this uh, this thing together. It's just been a project that's been sat on my shelf for a, a long time, as Leander will tell you. I meant it as no disrespect, Leander. It's just a project I haven't gotten around to. Uh, screwdrivers are here. It's just You know which other one I haven't gotten to that I really badly need to is my let split. I asked for that back in January and it's <laughs> embarrassing. That's what it is. It's embarrassing. Is this a customer build? No, it's not. This is a personal build. This is a this is a project that I've been uh, that I've been putting off for a long time. So uh, this is just for me. Uh, this plate was given to me by my friend uh, Leander uh, for Christmas last year. Uh, this base uh, is one that we have at One Up Keyboards. Um, dot com, uh, the shop that I own, and it was just about time that I put all the pieces together and uh, you've been waiting for that let split build since I mentioned it in January uh, hopefully it won't be too much longer I really do know I know that I need to get to it I just uh, I just haven't yet whoops uh, now what I like to do I like to put these in situ 
like I put this, put the plate where it's gonna live, um, so that I can. Look at that! How awesome is that? Okay, and they go this way around, for this way. Oh, why didn't that go in place? First one, and I. Had a bit of a miscue. Oh, there we go. You can hear them click into place if you get it right. I don't know why I didn't, those first two didn't quite go in. Let me, let me push this one in. Struggling with that. Oh. Yeah. Just like as I get these in, they're not they're not clicking in place unless I get it quite there we go. Seventy six viewers with seventy two likes. Are there eight people amongst you who can put a couple more likes in so that we outnumber the people viewing by the likes? Top rows being a right pin in the butt. What thoughts are there about as far as material sound? I love the damp sound of my steel plated 60%. Uh, I personally love the sound of the carbon fiber. The carbon fiber, especially on the um, LJD 61 up, it's um, it's pretty special. Uh, I, the only thing I can relate it to really is, I don't know if you do any cycling, but um, uh, 
if you've ever heard a carbon fiber bicycle go past, uh, it's a lot like it. It's this amazing deep hollowed noise. It's, um, it's really cool. Where's the calipers? Here, I'm going to use that tool I was telling you about earlier. Just one second, I'm just gonna go make sure this lines up the way that I think it should. I'm just gonna check. I, this one might be wrong here. This one might be, it might be that one. Let me just check. Yeah, it is. Alrighty, start smashing the rest of these in here. Now this is always a tricky one, uh, this one in the corner here. Uh, people always complain that they get it wrong or that this switch is wobbly. So what you gotta do, watch watch what I do here. I'm twisting it that in that direction as I push it down. That's the way you're supposed to, that's the way it's supposed to go down. If you don't twist it like that, you can have this key go into place incorrectly. It's that way that it's supposed to be. Steph, could I ask you a favor? Sure. Could you grab me the fan? Or is it the Uh, Somebody just said that they prefer to use five pin switches uh, I just cut off those two extra pins um, in there because this is plate mount you don't really need the uh, the two extras
Yeah, in the orange one. All right, can I give you those? Sorry, just a little bit of a fuss there with my caps lock key. Sorry for asking, but do you have any spare 2x2 two two caps? No, I don't have any spare ones. Sorry, man. Uh, I use those for my macro keys, and uh, they're very difficult to come across. So now I hold on to all the ones that I have. Uh, the best way to find them, though, is to ask on Mech Market for people with grab bags if they have any 2x2 two two POS keys. Point of sale keys that you can, uh, you can nab off of them. This is going together an absolute treat. Oh, did I, did I lose a key? Did I miss it? There it is. Switch. Okay, next thing to do, you flip it over. You run your fingers across and make sure that all the little doodads have made it all the way through. one that's missing it yeah you can see I smashed that let me just show you exactly what happened here this happens occasionally these little pins get bent there you can see one pin that's straight up and the other that's lying down I'm just gonna pick that up just like that Strain it right back out, just like that. Put it right back in place. There we go, and now you can see, now you can see the two little things that come through. We're good, moving along. There's another one that didn't make it through.
Yep, there we go. Fantastic. All right, we're all through and ready to go. Just about to fire up the solder cam one more time. Let's get this all in place here. All right, soldering iron is on. I'm gonna fire up my fan here. You know what, I'm also gonna open up the door just so this is blowing straight outside. Ninety-two viewing currently with seventy-six likes. If you can uh, press that like button, maybe we can get it up to eighty-five. Would love to do that. Just as we get uh, some new people into the show, just as we're about to go to solder cam. For those of you who haven't already pressed subscribe, I'd love it if we could get some new subscribers tonight. So go ahead and press that subscribe button. Make sure you catch all the upcoming live streams. All right, just getting in place here. Okay, I'm just gonna switch over to solder cam. I'm gonna remind everybody, keep your eye up here. If the movement's a little too crazy for you, don't forget that you can do that. Just to keep things in focus and in perspective. Thanks again to everybody who's come by tonight. Thanks to everybody who's already pressed like and already pressed subscribe. Check out Solder Cam. Solder Cam is really the reason you guys come by here, isn't it? I mean, how cool is that to see soldering up close like that? Thanks to everybody who's just pressed subscribe. That's really cool of you. Just had a whole bunch of people come join. And thanks again for those of you who press the like button. The more likes we get, the more new people get to come to the show. Thank you to all my moderators. You guys are awesome. The keyboard Mechanical keyboard enthusiasts. We're here helping answer your questions and all that. Look at all those subscribers come in. Thank you guys. That's awesome. Don't forget camera two and camera three are active. I know camera two is having some problems with the audio. Camera three has no audio, but still it gives you a slightly different perspective on all the stuff that's going on here. Okay, I'm gonna give it a wipe again, guys. So just Clear that one out. No, I'm just going to give it another quick wipe here. There we go, much cleaner. I'm really not happy the way this one turned out, so I'm just giving it another quick go. It's much better now. Look at those subscriptions come rolling in. Thank you again. As I said, every like tells YouTube that more people should come and join the show. 
the more likes it gets, the more people get to come to the stream, the more subscribers we get, the bigger it grows, the more cool stuff we get to do. So thank you again to everybody. And of course, thank you to everybody who supports the channel, either through Patreon or by buying me a cup of coffee in the About section below. So this is a 60% a keyboard. All the parts and pieces are listed in the About section below. You can make your own very similar to this one. We're so close to 26,100 subscribers. The number just keeps on growing. I'll show it to you guys in just a second. Thank you to everybody who's already pressed subscribe. That's awesome. Thank you to everybody who's joined the show. Okay, I'm just going to give it a quick wipe. Keep your eye on the top left. Oh, it's starting to get dirty, dirty. Oh, gross.
As you can see in the top left corner here, what solder cam really is is a uh, Logitech C920. I'm just gonna have to give that a quick rub here. It's a uh, Logitech C920 webcam on top of a uh, Hakko soldering iron. That was sloppy. Christopher Clark, do you use different switches for alphas modifiers? Um, no, I don't. I haven't actually made uh, any keyboards uh, with different switches for modifiers and alphas. Uh, I know some people who do it. I know some people who use lighter uh, switches for their alphas. I know some people who use heavier uh, switches for their alphas. Um, uh, I al almost always... Uh, choose a heavier spring for my space bar um, because, of course, the space bar weighs more and my thumbs are stronger than my fingers are. Uh, today's build, I haven't, but this does have removable, removable switch tops, so I can alter that in the future, and that is actually my plan. Um, I just want to see what it feels like with the 67s, and then I'm going to uh, decide if I want to go to a 78 or even higher. And thanks for the uh, super chat, man. That's awesome. Definitely appreciate that. Ninety-three concurrent viewers. Don't forget, guys. While this is pretty awesome, it is available in full 1080p, so you can really take note how to get in there and do a nice little soldering job. Uh, the solder that I use is also available in the uh, About section or the Description section below. Where you can find links to uh, just about everything you see on my desk, actually. I'll try to keep that up to date. If you're not sure about the quality of the soldering job I'm doing, I do apologize. Putting a webcam on top of my soldering iron hasn't made it the easiest thing in the world. Thank you to, again to everybody who's pressed subscribe. Thank you to everybody who's pressed like. Thank you especially to those of you who've used the super chat function already. It's very cool of you. I will get to your questions as soon as I'm done. Just a little bit here.
For those of you who are new to the stream or who have just joined, uh, tonight I'm building a 60% universal kit just like the one you would find at oneupkeyboards.com. I'm going to give this a wipe, so keep your eyes in the top left corner. There we go. There's quite a bit of black stuff on this. I'm going to have to give it a proper clean in a minute. Hopefully I can get through this next little bit without doing that, but we'll see, we'll see. Brendan Keen for $2. Thank you. Do you recommend any soldering kits? I absolutely do. The soldering iron that I'm using right now is the one that I recommend, which is the Hakko FX888D. Uh, it's the one that I use and the one that I recommend. Uh, there are links to it in the About section or Description section below uh, for links to it on Amazon. Um, they cost about 95 bucks, and I have told people in the past who've talked about buying keyboard kits from my shop uh, oneupkeyboards.com that if you're going to do it you might as well wait until you have the right soldering iron because it's a pain in the butt to try to solder with the wrong equipment I don't know why you would do it to be honest So the Hakko FX888D has a digital thermometer on it, uh, so you can adjust the temperature very precisely for the solder that you use. I'm using a lead-free solder. Whoops, that didn't quite work like I wanted it to. All right, last row here, last row. Thanks again for that super chat. Is anybody saying I missed some stuff? Uh, Malky Tomlinson, I just looked up and it says, is there any reason that you in particular use lead free? Uh, yeah, I use lead free because I uh, don't want lead. don't want lead poisoning. I don't want lead anything. Uh, and it means that any of my builds can be considered ROHS. Uh, 
which I want. Give it a quick wipe. Keep your eyes in the top left corner there. All right. All right, guys. Uh, let's switch the soldering iron off. Uh, gonna switch back to overhead. I'm gonna zoom in and take a look at the soldering work here. So I'm uh, just checking that everything's been soldered. More than once I've missed not just individual solders, but I've missed whole switches. So just making sure that they've all been covered. Yes, indeedy. All right. Next up then is keyboard switch tester. All right. Uh, give me one second here. Keyboardtester.com. And I'm going to do super plus selfie. Now I'm just going to plug this keyboard in. Of course, you guys won't see me plugging it in, but rest assured, I am indeed plugging it in. There we go. Of course, you could see it plugged in if you were on camera two or something. And here we go. There's escape. Oh, it looks like I already hit zero on the way across. Yeah. Backspace. We got a fully working board here, guys. Great news, great news indeed. Switching back to overhead. Ooh, still zoomed in. You can see it's plugged in there. And you know what? I'm just gonna show off all those subscriptions that we just got in. Check, check that out. That right there is the number of sub people who subscribed during that little section. That was great. Thanks so much for to everybody who subscribed. Steph. Amazing. Thank you again to everybody who just joined the channel. All right, next up, it's time to screw these, screw this down. I like to do the middle one first and just get it nice and loose. Uh, and then I do the two edges. Again, I 
do it uh, nice and loose. I uh, just want the thing to be in there. This one too. Okay, there we go. Now it's in. Now I can tighten that one up. Now I can tighten this one up. And the board is nice and secure. And now I'm going to do the extras. This space bar one right here. Don't know why you're not going in space bar one. Worry about that in a second. Toxic Gamer HD, what's going on? Can you use nail clippers to clip cherry stabs? Uh, you probably can. Um, although the thing that I actually recommended these little wire cutters that you get with uh, for Hacko, uh, they're like five bucks on Amazon. There should be a link in the about section below. And honestly, for five bucks, you might as well get those. Uh, they'll do a, an even better job. The other thing that you can use, or at least that I have used in the past, uh, sorry, just one sec as I try to get this in the hole here. Why isn't it going in? Oh, I see. No, it's a little bit off askew here. I'm going to pull it back out. Don't need this for a screw. Yeah, it's just a little bit off there. But none of the other ones are off, so... Just call that an errant screw. All right. I'm going to unplug this. Okay, I'm just going to close my door again. Oh, it's starting to get a little bit chilly. So for the keycaps, even though I showed off the ones at one of keyboards.com, I'm instead going to chuck down these Poker 2 keycaps. Check that out. Poker 2, enjoy your feeling. I love the Poker 2 keycaps. They might, I think they might actually be one of my favorite ever sets. So that's what I'm going to rock today. Two, three, four, five. Boom. Hmm. Z X C V. Or Z X, depending on what part of the world you live in. Function, I'll put that off to the side for one second. Uh, Z X C V B. Uh, question mark goes uh, right there. One, two, three. Win. What's the last screw for? The last screw is for in here, but it didn't quite line up perfectly. And so instead of fighting with it, I just don't forget it. Left it out. N M. Caps lock, E R T Y, E R T Y, multi mast. You unfortunately are doing what's called spamming. Number one. 
six, number seven, number eight. And S A S. Camera doesn't look focused right. Are you watching in full 1080p? I don't know this about my desk, but it it wobbles just a little bit. That's my desk, I promise. Query U I O P U E. Got a snoo in with my set there. Z. Uh, JKL goes there. I'm going to put function there. Oh, delicious. Oh, delicious, delicious. Oh. oh. Yeah, I'm going to put stuff away before I do my typing test. Typing test. 67 gram Zelios on a 60% universal with a Satan PCB, the gray slate base from 1UP Keyboards. Gave that a little whack. Here we go, typing test.
Love it. Now, people ask me, uh, people, I can hear them asking about the uh, space bar. Let me, let me do this. I got to switch over to action cam, which is a bit of a pain in the butt. I'm going to do it all the same. Just give me one second here to get action cam up and going. You're going to see it in one second and you're totally going to understand just here, just as soon as I do this. Okay, you ready? Action cam. Look, look, I put my hand on it. Look at the angle my thumb is at. Look, even with my hand up here, look at the angle my thumb is at. See that? You're typing, your, your thumb is angled like this. That's why the space bar is on upside down. Because when I type, look. Okay, because I got the action cam and I got it. Check out the action cam here. Just gonna go. Ah, somebody just said if you flip the bottom, sorry for clipping that back in. If you flip the, the space bar, why don't you flip the rest of the bottom row? Because when I reach for the rest of the bottom row, I do it with my pinky. And look, I don't, I don't reach my thumb here and try to do stuff. I reach with my pinky. That's why. Well, that was my action cam overkill. Guys, can I ask you a favor? Can you guys all go over to oneupkeyboards.com? Go smash the heck out of that website. I'd love it if you guys really just went over there and just clicked around a couple pages, checked it out. Oneupkeyboards.com. I'm the owner. Of course, we pay for all this bandwidth and whatever else. I'd just love it if you guys went over there and crushed it. Sab Gobbler just says, I just realized how tiny your desk is. Dude, my desk is super tiny. This desk is super small, but I live in a tiny little apartment in Manhattan. Look, you can basically see most of the apartment here. And Steph's little head. What's the 67 gram verdict? Yeah, straight away, they're the best switch. What skew is Pete's day job? I work in advertising. That a boy mange HD. No, this isn't my day job. I have a day job. It's not this. This is just my hobby. And hanging out with you guys is just my hobby. Cool. Well, 91 viewers and 107 likes. Thank you again to everybody 
Are the springs rated higher than 150 gram? I've seen some 150 gram springs that are 185. Uh, I don't know. Uh, our supplier tells us that they're 150 grams, uh, but I haven't actually uh, done the science on it myself, so I can't say for sure. Toxic Gamer HD says hi, Steph. Hi. Is your microphone on? No. R3 Con Wu, yo Pete, you want a free kitten? I got one for you. I do badly want a kitten, but I'm not allowed. I'm not allowed right now. Uh, is that a GH60 Rev CHN? It is. Uh, this is one of the old, old ones. This was a prototype that we got before we started selling them on one-up keyboards. Uh, this one's almost two years old. Uh, it's unlike the ones that we sell on our store now. Uh, well, one of the best ways and easiest ways to tell that is with this um, with this reset button. That's a really big reset button, and all the new ones have a much much smaller one. Let me. Uh, I have one. I had one that was just right here the other day. Steph, do you know what happened to it? Why did it fall? The GH60. Yeah, here's here it is. Here's the GH60, the new style. Um, and the way you can tell it's the new style, two things. One, look at the, the reset button. That's the new reset button there. So it's much smaller, much flatter than the big one that you see here. That's the first thing. And the other thing is the new ones uh, that we sell are all, uh, they're called through the hole. You can see there, the pins come through the hole here. That's a much stronger way to create a uh, a solder connection. It's a much way, stronger way to attach this to the board. Uh, this one is just uh, SMD mounted, so I've got to be pretty careful when I when I plug and unplug this one. But that is the difference right there. That's uh, that's the only difference really. The only difference is other than that, yeah, it's exactly it's exactly the same as. Chokan, anyone else on here making keyboard vids on YouTube? Shout us out, Pete. Uh, Chokan, are you making uh, are you making keyboard vids? I didn't even know. Um, there's some other dudes uh, who I'm friends with as well. Uh, of course, there's Rhino Feed, who's an awesome keyboard reviewer. There's uh, Cairo San, who I see pretty often. There's uh, uh, Leanne Dren, um, who's got his own channel. There's uh, the Board Podcast. Uh, who else is there? And I'm a friend. I'm a, a big fan of. Uh, I think there's an, a real up and coming YouTuber who I do enjoy watching his videos. Uh, and I did give him a shout out recently, and he gave me a shout out recently too. It's DVZN Media. Uh, DVZN Media. He's uh, he's a cool dude. He's not uh, you know up to the level of uh, the keyboard love, but he does have a lot of cool gadgets and gizmos that he checks out, and I do definitely enjoy his videos. And he can sing a whole ha heck of a lot better than I can. So. Uh, there's that. Uh, one of my other friends, uh, MK Me or Make Me, uh, MKME Lab. He's a really nice dude. Um, uh, he's interviewed me before, which which was super fun. Uh, and I know he does a lot of cool gadget uh, geek out stuff. Uh, Mech Merlin is another one, yeah, uh, who does some keyboard stuff and other tech reviews. Uh, Epos Vox. He's pretty cool. He's got a pretty deep voice, which is pretty cool uh, if you're into deep voices. Uh, Epos Vox is a cool dude that I check out. Um, who else? Who else is out there, Steph? Uh, of course, I watch Linus Tech Tips. I think everybody does. And I watch I watch my name, Casey Neistat. Uh, I don't sing. What I'm saying is DVZN Media sings. He's a good dude. Best switches for gaming, Max Juba. The answer to that's a really simple one. Uh, it's it goes like this: If you're just gaming, then the ones that you'd want uh, are black switches because black switches have the stiffest spring, and so they bounce back faster. The faster they bounce back, that means more APMs. The more APMs, the better you are at gaming. So, um, Chokan did a video on the new FC six sixty C controller. That's awesome. I didn't even know. Uh, you'd already got one. That's cool. Um, 
that's why I say that the best switches for gaming, uh, going back to that question, are black switches. And there's a gaming Ultimate Gamer keyboard, which is at 60%, just like this one, on one-up keyboards. It's a pre-built one uh, with black switches, and it's got keycaps and everything you need. It is a really good. It's a really good keyboard. It's also got a carbon fiber top sheet, so it's got that really good sound. And it's got a black aluminum bottom. It's it's the, the real deal good stuff. And of course, it's a fully programmable keyboard too, which is uh, the best there is. Okay, uh, Razor Sim says, uh, what about SMD bottom LEDs? I saw something like support for 16 LEDs. Am I wrong? No, you're absolutely right. Uh, on these, let me grab that other one again just for a quick second. They definitely do have support for the uh, LEDs. This is the top of it. On the bottom here, you can see those are SMD LED mounts. I think it takes more than 16. Uh, you can see there's a bunch there and a bunch here. Uh, and you could mount SMD LEDs. There's one there and one there uh, on this. But of course, there's very little point in me doing that uh, for this board in particular because you can see not much light is going to shine through there. So um, I didn't do that. All right, what else is going on here? Toxic Gamer HD, the TV in the background. What are you What are you asking about the TV in the background? It's a 60 inch LG TV. You know what I'm saying. Tie how neon green make the best gaming switch. Again, uh, linear. Uh, stiff spring I go for I go for blacks every time Steph already replied to my email telling me about the upcoming items but I want to reiterate here I want to buy a CF numpad on one up so uh, let me just show off the numpad uh, it's gonna look a lot like this one It's going to look a heck of a lot like this one. Uh, this is the CLZ numpad. Uh, you can see I put 1.25 or these 1.5 switches on here. Uh, they're not supposed to be there. You can see the edge is different size on this to this side. But that's because I put some funny switches on here, not because of anything else. Uh, but this is what it's going to look like. how neon greens are 280 gram wow for linears i need them to be real heavy you know if if you were to do that i would say get the panda switches uh and then put in those 150 gram springs A lot of questions coming in, guys. Remember, if you want to make sure that I get to your question, use the super chat button. If you haven't already, now is a great time to press like. Uh, if you haven't already, now is a great time to press subscribe. And of course, uh, I'd love it if you guys went over to oneupkeyboards.com and check the website out. Crushed it. And currently, because we have live, we have a uh, live Google Analytics. You can see there's 13 people currently on the site. Go on, get on there. Go check it out. I personally don't like heavy switches. Uh, like if you're gonna do any typing, I would choose a, uh, I would choose a red switch over a black switch. But you asked what the best one is for gaming, not the best one is for typing. Pandas are really scratchy. No, uh, pandas are quite scratchy. You, if you open them up and lube them, I think they're they're a very non wobbly switch, which I think is why you get a lot of the scratchiness in them, uh, at least at first. But I. From what I hear from other people, the more you use them, the more that scratchiness goes away. And of course, if you get in there and lube it up, it'll uh, it'll be pretty pretty darn darn good. Excuse me. I'm trying to keep up with the questions here, but I'm. 
Do you by any chance have any Cherry MX Blue Razor Green keyboard you could sound test? Uh, Cherry MX Blue, yes, I do have a Cherry MX Blue. Let me get the Cherry MX Blue. That is a sweet, sweet keyboard. I'm going to leave that up on screen. Of course, the kits are available on oneupkeyboards.com. You can go check those out. Check in the About section below for relevant links to everything. Everything that you saw, everything that's good. Um, you know what? I'm just going to move some stuff out of the way here as I go. Cherry MX Blue Staff. What? Where's the Cherry MX Blue? On my board. Yeah, where's that? It's in, I thought it was in there. It was in where? Which one do you think it is? Oh, it's just out. That's what you're saying. This is, uh, this is Cherry MX Blue for you. Oh, what happened then? The whole thing's shaking. Why is it all shaking? Huh. What's it touching? Is it that that's touching? Huh. Sorry about that. Oh, I see. The desk is twisted now. All right. Here we go. Do you have the carbon plate at home to show us? Tobes GH. Yes, I do. Just uh, one more second here on these blues. Tobes GS, uh, sorry, Tobes GH. Uh, which carbon plate do you want me to show you? Uh, like a, the 60% like this? You want to see the LJD 61 up? Do you want to see the... Uh, Don't forget to press like. Don't forget to press subscribe, guys. Go ahead and smash those like and subscribe buttons. Do you want to see the TKL? Like, here, I'll show you the TKL one. These are the TKL carbon fiber plates. These are real carbon fiber. It's not metal or anything. It's not got a sticker on it. This is pure black carbon fiber. It's pretty nice. A DIY JD42 plate carbon fiber black. Yep. This is the uh, JD40 V2 in carbon fiber black. I think it goes this way around, if I'm correct. Uh, the reason it's V2 is that it uh, does the split backspace only uh, on the top plate and on the bottom plate. It's compatible both with the feet that are currently up for sale on Mass Drop, uh, and it's got the cutout for the USB port right here. So that's what makes it the V2. Uh, and again, this is uh, real carbon fiber, black carbon fiber. That's the one for sure. Uh, I think I'm going to make one of these in an upcoming live stream. It's a plan anyways. Are you going to have red carbon fiber plates in anytime soon? We're sold out of many of the red carbon fiber plates. Uh, we do have a couple left in a couple different uh, styles. Uh, for example, the JD40. The JD40, we still do have some red carbon fibers left in stock. These are, again, real carbon fiber. It's called uh, electroplated. We have those available. We also have those exact ones in the LJD61 up as well. Here's the LJD61 up. Red carbon fiber plates. And in fact, I have a keyboard I built out of 
LJD61 on Brave Carbon Fiber Plates. Where is that board? That's like right, it's right here. She's a beauty. Toxic Gamer HD giveaway. No giveaway this week. Um, no giveaway this week, but uh, do check back again soon. We still have some stuff from uh, mechanicalkeyboards.com that we'll be giving away soon. Uh, I also got some stuff in from a glorious, uh, glorious PC gaming. Uh, they gave me some stuff that's also to be given away, so uh, I'm going to give away uh, one of these wrist rests. Uh, in an upcoming episode. Uh, what else have I got that's uh, going to be given away? Oh, I've also got a pair of headphones uh, that I did a review of last week that I'm going to be giving away. Uh, man, this is a nice looking keyboard though. I don't know why I don't have this in my office. Thanks for showing the numpad. Can't wait to get it. That's from BMMC Wirt. Thanks, uh, thanks for the super chat. Uh, Thank you to all of my super chatters. I'm up to uh, $10 for today's super chat. Thank you again, guys. I really do appreciate it. You know, as I've said many times before, all the money from the super chat will go towards this channel. And I'm going to be buying new cameras, new stuff. I need to get a new, uh, I need to get a new action cam. That's basically the latest. That's the latest thing. I need to get a new action cam. It's going to be, it's going to have to be a good one too. So that I can do all the stuff I want it to do. I need more low says stop teasing me Pete my wife will hate you I'm not sure what that's about but you know I, I friggin love this one but which one's better oh the 67 grams of these PBT keycaps man oh it's so good it's so chalky Oh. What switches on the red demo there? Uh, 65 gram Zelios. These are 67 grams. That's the board that I made today. That is super sweet. That is really super, super sweet. You know what? I you know what I should do though. I should probably program this puppy. Do you guys want to watch me program it? What time is it? Nine sixteen. I could program it, right? Okay, let's let's get to programming then. Give me just one second just to get this organized. Thanks again to all the people who've supported the channel uh, by buying me a cup of coffee or by um, or by doing the super chat. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for doing that. Uh, look, here's all the guys who here's all the guys who did super chat today. You know, thank you again. It's really it's really awesome. All right, let's do this. You go. To, so this is Easy AVR USB Keyboard Firmware Keymapper, which has a great name that's super easy and memorable. 
Uh, you'll never forget it because it's really simple and just rolls off the tongue really nicely. Um, Abiul says, excuse Pete, mostly the difference of the keycaps and construction in the sound variants then. So I would say it's it's partly the keycaps, it's partly the open plate design, it's uh, partly the spring weight, uh, it's like a, a, number, a number of factors. Um, right, uh, easy AVR USB keyboard firmware key mapper, love it. Uh, Gonna go to new layout, and uh, today we are programming the. This is the GH60 Satan, uh, and the version that we're doing. You guys can't quite see that. Let me just move that up here. Uh, the version that we're doing here is uh, poker. There you go. That's the uh, poker layout. Uh, okay, so the first thing for me is. Uh, that I make caps lock to be my function layer. Uh, just random FN. Where's FN? Uh, I make that function. Uh, then I go to my function layer. I, I don't think you need to do this, but I always do. Uh, and then I make sure that that key stays as function. I don't want it to have another, another thing that it does. I'm just going to go find FN here. Do, 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 do. There it is, function. Uh, okay, and then I do, uh, I turn my WASD into my, you see you can program this with another keyboard, so I'll just make this really easy. Down uh, and right, you see that? So that's my first uh, function layer. Uh, and then, of course, layer two, uh, this, one's, this one's really easy, I'm just going to, uh, hold on, let's go back to my default layer. I mean, I don't use, you know, app. I don't even know what app is. So I make this uh, function layer two. Uh, where's function again? Function layer two, boom. Uh, and then when I'm on layer two, I make this uh, into delete. Sorry, I, I said I always do this. I always make this function layer two. Just go down function layer two. Uh, make that delete as opposed to backspace as it is on the, the first row. Uh, I've also got to program in all my F keys, which is a pain in the butt, but I got to do it. Uh, uh, where are my F keys? They're all the way up here. F1. That's so boring. Two, F three. God, it's boring. Oh, hold on. F and on both layers trick is important with TMK QMK. Yeah, I don't think that step matters with because it doesn't really treat layers as transparent. I'm not sure. I've been using it. Absence of shift ten prefer the camera. All right, all right. Don't forget, guys, uh, if you have any questions, because I'm doing this uh, over here, uh, if you have any questions that you're burning to ask uh, and you're worried that I'm going to miss them, don't forget to use the super chat function. F8. Uh, F9, F10, F11, F12. There we go. Boom. Uh, okay. Uh, now that that's done, um, there's some other keys that are useful uh, in here. Uh, I'm not going to do those right now. Uh, the good ones to do, though, are uh, these three right here, which are N, M, and that's uh, volume down. Uh, 
You know, I don't think you can see it because it's just off off screen here, but it's called volume deck, volume decrease, uh, and this one is volume increase, which again, you can't quite see. And then this one in the middle here is volume mute. Mute. There you go. Now the other thing I like to do is I like to have this be win plus enter. You see that? Win plus enter. That's a good one. I haven't done any macros yet, but I do like to do some macros in here. Yeah, I'll do those later. Oh, the other thing, because I mapped that uh, on this layer to be function, on layer two, that's when I make it caps lock. Cool. First, I'm going to save my layout. Uh, and this is going to be a GH60. STN. I'll save that. And now I'm going to do the thing, build and reprogram. But before I do that, I got to plug it in and then I got to press the button. So let's just switch over to this for one second here. I'm going to plug this puppy in, plug it in. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is press this button, this, this button. There, that puts it into programming mode. Now that it's in programming mode, I'm going to go back over to this and do build and reprogram. Oh, you have not bound boot cancel. Yeah, I do want to bind boot. I like to bind boot to function escape. Wait a sec, where's boot? No, that's not what I wanted. I put volume ink. I want boot. Where's boot? Where's me boot? There's boot. Okay, let's save that. Save layout. Let's do build and reprogram. Satan hex. Save. Now in here, go click run. Boom, she's done. That's it, that's all I needed to do. All right, everybody. Well, thank you again to everybody who tuned in today. Don't forget to press like. 119 likes. Maybe we could get that up to 125. Are there six people in here who haven't already pressed the like button? I'd love it if you did. Don't forget to press subscribe as well. Uh, for those of you who are new to the show and haven't been here before, here's the best way to catch the upcoming streams. Okay, guys, here's how you subscribe and catch all the live streams. First, click subscribe, like you normally would, then click the gear beside it. Now you'll see the notification menu. Click send me all notifications for this channel. That means that next time I start my live stream, you'll get a notification to let you know it's about to start. Cool. hundred and twenty two likes, just three short. Uh, at Skews Pete, how much does the finished keyboard weigh? That's a great question. Let's just 
pull out the scale and find out. Uh, what units are you most interested in? Pounds and ounces, okay? This is pounds and ounces. Pounds and ounces. This is one one pound five ounces point five. The carbon fiber version of it weighs fifteen ounces point three. But I don't want you to think that the carbon fiber version slides around your desk or something. It certainly doesn't. Here, look. I'm genuine here to show you how much I'm shaking the desk. Mange HD says, nice stream, Pete. Have a nice day. Thanks, buddy. Time to update that clip. Uh, not really Daedalus. Why do you think it's time to update that clip? Because I only have 14,000 subscribers. And now I'm up to 26,108. On my tablet, it looks like a bell, not a gear. Oh, you're right. I do have to update it because of the new look of YouTube. It's now a bell. Error. I get it. I get it. Tobes GH off to bed now, guys. Bye, guys. See you later. Uh, for those of you who are still here, please go over to oneupkeyboards.com. Go take a look. Go crush the server. See what you can do. If there's one person left who can press like, there we go. 125 likes. Thanks very much to everybody who tuned in today, guys. I'm Ski with Pete. I'm your host. I'm doing the thing with the keyboard thing and trying to get you guys to check them out and pick up some more keyboards and all that. Thanks again to everybody who tuned in. Thank you especially to those of you who support this channel through Patreon. Thank you again to those who bought me a cup of coffee. Thank you again to those who support the channel with Super Chat. Really do appreciate it, guys. Thanks again. Really do, really do enjoy these things. And of course, today I end up with this awesome keyboard. So, awesome. Don't forget to press like. Don't forget to press subscribe. Don't forget to share with your friends. Don't forget to check me out on Twitter so you guys can also find out about other things that are coming up soon. Uh, subscribe to the newsletter on oneupkeyboards.com. That's a great way to stay informed. And uh, I'm going to do everything I can to uh, get these cameras working even better for next time. Thanks again, guys. Do take care. And don't forget, if you guys want to hang out for a little while longer, you, of course, can chill out with everybody else who's already in here. All the best. Thanks again. Thank you, especially Dane Carter. Thanks for supporting the channel and all that. I really do appreciate it. We'll see you guys again soon.